Greetings and salutations! This is Jason Silverine, and today I'll be facing some karma. <laughs> now, this game, I will confess, on the surface, it felt like a throwaway game. The company is actually in Jordan, this is the exact co, and when I looked at their website, it was almost like one of those scam shell websites, you know, it's a case of, it's just a puppet company thing. But no, it apparently, according to other reviewers, this is a relatively solid game. Now, I was offered a key for this, and I've accepted it, and the reason I've left it so long to actually get this done is I kind of offered to do this back of end of April, early March, in preparation of, for Monster Hunter, trying to get a bunch of videos done and prep so I could spend a week playing Monster Hunter, have a little time off. No, I didn't get this until uh, just at the beginning of April, which I'm recording now, and, well, you know, things got pushed along. I've had so many other offers my way that, uh, sadly, this I don't think is going to go up until May. But yes, Karma, Chapter 1. I'm always wary about any game that advertises itself in chapters because you never see the rest of them. Yes, created by the exact co in March 2021. It's available for £5.79. It has partial controller support and that's about it. Because I don't see any options. I'm going in blind. I've seen the trailers and I've seen what other reviewers have said. Apparently it's very old school gameplay. And it's Dark Souls hard, so this... Well, this could go badly. <laughs> I mean, keep meaning to finish Demon Souls. I heard that there's an axe warrior that's been causing a lot of problems. I better go see what's going on. Well... I have a feeling that these people are behind what happened to my village. Wow, we don't even get the backstory, we're just thrown straight into it. I mean, look at it, it looks like an early 2000s game. I mean, the model for the character's not bad. Oh, but the animations. Okay, okay. You're throwing... That's the sprint. Oh, God, you're just chucking all the info at me at once. Okay, that's a projectile. Let's, let's roll. Let's hit a thing. Oh, that's aim mode. That's sprint. Oh, my God. That is... Awful tutorial. It's, it's such I a... need to get out of the village. <laughs> There's nothing here. There's no music either. I've just realized that. I mean, can I go in the other houses? This feels like an alpha. But nothing in the house. But I mean, You could have at least put something in there. No boundaries. I guess I could just wander off wherever I wanted. More of this copy-paste house. But let's focus on the gameplay. I mean, this is obviously student-esque work. Oh, well, that's very old school. Just spawn in the mobs and spawn out the mobs. <gasps> okay. Yes. Apparently, the story of karma. Oh, I should have got hit there is your village was set on fire and uh, your parents died in said fire and you decided to uh, get stronger to become karma the thing that everyone needs a warrior of justice i mean i wish i knew more about this company what these models were done, whether they've done them themselves, whether they've bought the models and they've just put the game together. My goodness, though. Alright, does that even hurt enemies? Ooh, run away. Can I just shoot them? Yeah, might as well uh, go with the safe method. It does feel a little floaty. I mean, they've got a little sound effect when I hit people, but there doesn't seem to be much weight to my blows. At least the enemies do react to it. Oh, I'm running out of magic. She does come back pretty sharpish. Oh, 
Oh, what the? I thought that guy was going to die at the back. It does rely on essentially um, animation tax. I'm going to try something. You can roll right out of those hits. I should be doing that then. Go. I mean, one advantage of this game is you can run it on a toaster. <laughs> Interesting. If I dodge the weapon out, it injures people. Someone broke the animation there. Oh, you're joking. I'm almost dead already. Oh, there's also a complete lack of checkpoints. According to one or two of the views. Oh my goodness. So, one more hit and I'm dead. The game doesn't seem to want to give me any healing items. Or any power-ups of any kind. And I do feel like the game's going to be just more of this. Hmm. I wonder where the villagers left the key. Hmm. I wonder where the villagers left the key. You're joking. You're absolutely joking. I might have to run all the way back to the village now. You've essentially made a long corridor with the indication of go down said corridor. Now run all the way back to the village and see if you can find a key. I was checking in the houses, but there was nothing in them. <laughs> oh, man. Old Silver Rain would be going into rants about game design right now. In fact, I'm, I am kind of holding back a bit. Oh, there is a jump button. Yes, I did forget that existed. Do we have a jump attack? Oh, my God. Where did you come from? Let me guess, run back down towards the village and all the enemies respawn sort of thing. Well, too bad. If I can run through this game, I will. I can't jump over that. It's just an invisible barrier. You're going to get in there. Yeah, would have guessed the only thing that stands out a bit. I'm guessing the burnt house is supposed to be mine. Oh my goodness. Tick tock, tick tock, give me back my mana. I mean the voice acting Oh no 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 no. Ugh, I should train harder. You are joking. I didn't have a death animation. I there's an axe warrior that's been causing a lot of problems. I oh. better go see what's going on. I have a feeling that these people are behind what happened to my village. So let's try that again. Oh my God, what is that? What is that? Ah, oh, ridiculous. Oh no no no! I need to get out of the village. No. I need to kill all of these identical characters. Really? Really? Definitely... N if it wasn't for the smoothness of the graphics, I would say this is an early 90s gameplay. Also, I'm going to try something. We're just going to sprint like mad. Defeat all the enemies to proceed. Well, arse. Let's kill the conga line. And let me guess, now I've got to... Oh, arse. Uh, I have to run back down there to get more of them to appear. Yep, come on. Come on. Let us conga. What? 
Wow, does that just go through and Ooh, bugger. Oh, I got hit. Yeah. Damn it, stop it. This is the way to win the game. Piercing magic just goes for everybody. Oh, you just conga line them in, into your shots. Oh yeah, it's that third hit. It's just that little bit slower. We done. We finally finished this musicless, plotless, ridiculous nonsense. So, unexplained giant gate to more forest. Level be design it be screaming. Ah, the vulgars. Oh. I've heard about them. Let's see how tough they really are. So who was the first bunch? It's just a corridor with lots of enemies. Why am I murdering these people? Why are these people trying to murder me? These questions and more will not be answered. It's just an excuse to give... How much health has that guy got? Yeah, it's just an excuse to just make a lot of more difficult to kill enemies. From what I've seen in the trailers, the combat pattern doesn't actually change at all either. What's a giant floaty symbol? Why is it summoning in people to try and murder me? It's not even like the local enemies. I mean, does this thing exist in the game world? Or is it purely a player mechanic? Ah, I'm almost there. Why is the forest exploding? Is the town shooting can cannons into the woods? Why is a cannonballs flying at me? This makes no sense and it looks terrible. I mean, are they aiming at me? Are they just shooting out into the woods? Can those actually hurt the enemies? I suspect they can hurt me because they seem to be aimed in my general direction. Though they are aiming where those guys previously were. So maybe it's aimed at them? The town's launching hundreds of... Ow! God damn it. Cannonballs. This way. Oh, it goes through the trees. So you can't even use the trees as cover. Ooh. Bugger. I mean, this would be a lot more exciting with, with some sound. And a lot more fair with some way to recover health. Because, what, two cannonballs? Three cannonballs, I think? No, three cannonballs will just end me. I mean, they're pretty slow. But at the same time, if you're busy doing other stuff, and there's a, quite a lot of them, and they come from quite a lot of different angles, there's n not really any way you can check on them all at once, because they're not just coming from the dome there, they seem to be coming out of the woods in places. See, see that one, the one's coming out of the woods, there's no excuse. If they were all coming from the towers, lining the, the walls, I could understand that, but the ones over there get stuffed.
really. Ugh, I should train harder. I got slightly tapped by him and then hit by a cannonball. Where the hell am I? Oh, you are joking. Oh, I will see you in a few minutes. Well, we'll see if this is faster. I'm doing it! I'm defeating all the enemies, proceed! Don't be so impatient, game! Alright, let's throw caution to the wind and just run! You know it's going to make me defeat all the enemies. But if I can spawn most of them here... Wow, that that's a terribly designed castle gate. Yeah, this feels like an asset flip. Well, at least now the cannons have stopped. Oh, no, no. They've started again. And they don't seem to hurt the enemies. Because that would be actually useful. And kind of fair. So now I'm back to doing this again. I mean, why bother with a dodge roll? The Just running is more useful. There we go. That should be the majority of them. There might be one left that might need to spawn. Nope, that was all of them. Straight into black loading screen. With a nonsensical entrance and half-ass skybox. Don't think I'm going to be able to do my um, tactic anymore though. There's just no room to maneuver. Try to look at that statue. Interesting architecture. It's like a. We tried making a crusader, but ah, uh, we couldn't. We gave up midway through. It just makes no sense, design-wise, architecture-wise. There is absolutely no sense whatsoever to this design. Well, this is not how castles are made. I mean, I'm not asking for a realistic one, but, you know, not photorealistic, but suspension of disbelief here. Again, feels like 90s video game. Like, the that's a dick move. Especially Ugh, if these guys... I should train harder. Perhaps I should just actually be given some power-ups. Or anything that would make the combat less tedious. I've not used this yet. Well, that works. Probably not worth the mana, but... Yeah, I've not really adapted to any of the challenges, have I? I've kind of just gone with a tactic that sort of seems to work and spammed it. And I hate they already take more than the basic combo. Especially since they... Yeah, that. Yes, but especially since uh, they don't really get stunned by your blows for very long. Oh, this is tedious. Again, we're just going to keep this up. Thought I'd try something different. <laughs> but the area effect just does minuscule amount of damage as well. You think for the amount of mana it takes up, it would do a bit of extra damage. Oh, for... Doesn't even feel like a powerful attack, just wide. We go, we go through here. Please be one of these a checkpoint. Goodness me. Yeah, we'll make the combat more difficult by uh, making the camera suck. I 
mean, bless them, they're trying, but... Oh. Okay. Wait, I can't go up the... I have to roll. What? I have to roll to go up the stairs. Was I supposed to go up the stairs, or have I just glitched this? I don't know what I was expecting. Like, maybe some power-ups? A health up? An indication of where I'm supposed to progress to. More broken stairs. Yeah, um... Oh, I don't think I was supposed to come up here. <laughs> oh, dear me. I've gotten lost in a game which essentially, uh... Is a corridor where you hit things. Wait, what? Oh, bugger. I am utterly lost. Which floor did I get in on? It's like, which floor do I get out on? I guess these stairs aren't for climbing. <laughs> Alrighty then. God, I don't, I'm afraid of rolling anywhere in case I escape the map. That's where I came from, this sort of direction. Whee! Okay. We got to here. I came in. Down those steps. I have to look where the enemies spawn. That'll be uh, where I'm supposed to go. Again, huge winding area for no good reason. Oh, there's a key. That is terrible design. Fuck! Ah! I thought there might be another one, but... Oh, for... Eve off! I think the area I wouldn't explored was more interesting. How many of these guys out here are there? I was supposed to go over here. God damn it, game. I can't just run away. So, you're the one called Karma. Yep, that's me. You think you can defeat us on your own? Fool! <laughs> Bring it on! Oh my god, that terrible cutscene. And I now we get some music. You. Yes, twice. You are dead. Feel the pain of my axe. I will destroy you. My God, look at that health bar. That is a terrible color. Feel the pain of my axe. You can barely tell the green from the gray. I will destroy you. Feel the pain of my axe. You are dead. And he's weaker than, like, half the enemies I've faced so far, thank God. I will destroy you. Let me just run away. Well, there's absolutely no stun locking this guy. Which means melee with them, him is actually impossible. Also, he can run as fast as me. You. I have to bait attacks to make I him stop so I can actually attack him. You are dead. Feel the pain I was going to count how many times he says, I will destroy you, but I didn't realize he. I, well, I did realize he'd have a handful of lines, but I thought he'd be a bit more repetitive. I think he switches out attacks just you about enough. Dead. You are dead. Feel the pain of my axe. You are dead. Feel the pain of my axe. You have no idea what's coming for you. 
What do you mean? Hey, wait! Again, how are they doing that? Five days later. <laughs> that is the most unnatural laying down position I've seen. Also, is he just sleeping it, on a hill? Is this a dream? I'm sure I'll find a hint somewhere. Okay. It's either a dream, or I've fallen through the map. Or the dev, dev just decided, you know what, screw it. I can't be bothered to copy-paste the floor texture anymore. So... It's just lots. Oh, for is this just unlimited spawning enemies? I've screwed myself, haven't I? Let me out. Yeah, not going in there. Okay, that looks somewhat promising. I'm just look, keeping an eye out for those keys, because as we've shown, the game does not actually highlight where they are. Cool. I mean, there's one thing to call a game old school. There's another thing to just um, try and use that as an excuse when it's flawed. Let go, son. Let go, son. No, I got a feeling you're supposed to die here. I really do. It's like, let go of your vengeance. We died. You don't have to blame yourself. Yada yada, dead parents. Son, ghost. go to the light and let go. I went to the light and I left. God sakes. What... I'm guessing it's go to the light and let yourself be killed. Let go, son. Yep. Yeah. I'm proud of you, son. Whoa! I guess this really was a dream. <laughs> oh, I miss you, Mother. Screw you, Dad. I don't care about you. There's a village nearby where people have been complaining about a dragon. I guess it's time for me to fix this. I, uh, speaking of fixing things, and the master of fixing this game requires, how the hell does one save this game? Okay, exit just brings you to continue and, ex and exit to main menu. Oh, goodness me. Are you just peasants? Oh, you are kidding me. My only advantage is gone. And if there's dragons nearby, why have random pe people firing my... No stunning. No stunning whatsoever. Angry silvery noises internalized. Now, I am just hoping that I kill this person and I move on to the next area and this is a checkpoint. I bet it isn't though. Well, my conga line plan no longer works. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run and run and run. Oh, get lost. Can't run in a straight line for too long, otherwise they'll hit me. Oh my god, how many wizards? Oh my goodness. No! No! 
I got invisible walled off the edge. There's a village nearby where people have been complaining about a dragon. Well, those people are going to have to uh, wait. I guess it's time for me to fix this. <sighs> no. We can barely fix a, a man throwing a fireball. A dragon is well beyond our capabilities. And, yeah, I think I'm just going to have to take a break. I've faced karma and I've not liked it. <laughs> it was a very painful comeuppance.